don't use AI to write unless you understand the three key stages of writing. Research for generating ideas, drafting for connecting your thoughts, and editing for refining your message. So how can we use AI to speed this up? Now I know what you're thinking, you, you've tried ChatGPT, you've tried a bunch of things, and you know that anytime that you ask something like ChatGPT to write you something, is gonna output something extremely generic, and worst of all, it doesn't sound anything like you. Now the question is obviously like, do we even need to use AI at all? And the answer is yes, and it's for this reason. Your competitors are using AI like crazy. It means that if your competitors are just going to ChatGPT and saying, oh yeah, just write a blog post about the meaning of life, and then they reshare all of that in their social media, in their websites, well, if we don't use AI, we just can't keep up with that rhythm. Now, obviously, we don't want to be that lazy and we don't just want to outsource all the idea generation to AI because I think that gives us terrible generic results. Now, our goal is to use AI to help us speed up the process while preserving all the quality of our ideas, just making the whole process a lot faster. Now, in this video, I'm going to break down and share the workflow that I've been working on. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these things actually do involve a bit of code and nerdy stuff that I won't get into in this video. So this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you do want more information, you can join my free community. You'll find that in the description. I'd be happy to share the technical aspects of this with you there. But right now I want to share with you what is possible and the overview of this workflow that I designed. So let's get into it. The first thing that I believe is important to really understand about this AI workflow is that there's going to be a role for you and there's going to be a role for AI. So your role as a human is to generate ideas and share your unique perspective. You bring the soul to the words that you're writing. You bring its humanity and you just make it authentic. Versus AI is this really expert editor who knows how to write perfect English and structure sentence perfectly and just excellent grammar and is also really good at following your instructions and just giving you a better draft based on what you request from it. Okay, so with that clear, I have two aspects of my whole workflow and one is research, generating ideas, and the other one is actually writing. We'll break this down in a second, but right now let's talk about just generating ideas. So how do we do this? Now, first you come up with a concept that you want to explore, right? Based on that, you might just do an outline or anything that you find helpful and then then you will have a bunch of questions, a bunch of things that you want to dig deeper. Now, traditionally, you would have to have a very advanced note-taking system in order to really know where to find things. And note-taking and this idea of tools for thought is something that I've been exploring in this YouTube channel for ages. So there's a lot of really powerful benefits of implementing something as powerful as that. But sometimes you just want something that works, that is simple, that you don't need to invest too much time into. And that is where this system works really well. And we're going to be referring to this as, for now, I'll just call it my magic AI folder. I call it that because this is what it does. I go through my life just consuming content from podcasts, interviews, YouTube videos, books, and I have a transcript of all of this stuff in a magic folder. I save it all in there. And now I have a really crazy method where I can just ask a question, right? It's like a chat where I can just ask a question. And this AI folder gives you the most relevant answer. So what it will do is it will give you extracts and quotes from this interview, this book, this YouTube video. From there, what's awesome is that you can get that and read the context where it comes from if you want to dig deeper. And additionally, just as a bonus, all of these different extracts and quotes are summarized in a short paragraph at the beginning, just so that I can have a quick glance at what I'm looking at. I go through this whole process, I ask a bunch of questions, but that's how I can use all the research that I've done before to inform the ideas that I want to get onto my original piece of writing. And this system is incredible because it's almost like a personal Google, but a lot smarter. And on top of that, it's way better than, let's say, ChatGPT by itself, because this is only giving me answers related to the things that I've personally consumed in the past. This part I really love. This is how I generate ideas, and that's how I prepare for the next stage. Okay, so now the next stage is actually writing. We have our research, we have our ideas. Now we need to put them on the page. Now what's best is to divide this into two separate modes of thinking. One is drafting, which is just putting your ideas out into the page. And then we have editing, which is revisiting things. And the reason why we really want to think of these two as different ways of thinking is because no one ever writes anything good in the first draft. If you take a look at the best writers in the world, they revisit and re-edit things like crazy. If we actually knew how much they re-edit things, we wouldn't even think they're that special. They are essentially great editors and great thinkers who know how to revisit their thoughts. So that's why we want to first do the draft and then really put a lot of emphasis on the edit 
of the draft. But okay, we need to get a first draft ready. So how do we do this? Now, the purpose of a first draft is really just to get the ideas onto the page, just so that we have something to work with. It's almost like the clay that we then mold. We need the clay, we need the material to work with. So we just want to have this stream of consciousness of all the ideas that are going around our head from the research stage. We want to get all of this out. Now, one of the most common advice that you'll find to write in a more authentic way is write like you speak. So why not speak what you write? So for this, I highly recommend using AI dictation. Now, you might just think about bad experiences of dictating to your phone or your computer or Siri or whatever you use. Transcripts are usually pretty bad, but when you use AI dictation, the quality of the transcript is ridiculously good. It's so accurate. I just can't believe people don't use this all the time. It just makes so much sense to rely on this. We have a bunch of benefits. One is that we can speak a lot faster than we can type. So that is a massive benefit. And the other is that we can really get into this mode of thinking of like, okay, I'm expressing myself in a genuine way. I'm not using any fancy words that I wouldn't use. And more importantly, you're not too focused on deleting ideas and just being like, no, no, let me revisit that. Right now, all you want to do is get ideas out there. You'll revisit them later. So just get it all out there. AI dictation is my favorite way to do this. Now, once you have your transcript, you can, of course, remove the bits that you don't like. You can rearrange things a little just to prepare things for the next stage. In the next stage, we're going to get into the editing. And here's where we really leverage AI in such a powerful way. OK, so my whole system for having AI editing my draft is composed of a couple of stages. So the first one is a structure and framework. I essentially train my AI system to know what are some of the best practices that I wanted to follow when it writes, what are some writing frameworks that I wanted to keep in mind, just some general ideas of how I wanted to give me the output. So yeah, that's the first stage. Now, second stage in the editing process is something that I like to describe as breaking things down visually. This is both for your own benefit, but also for the reader. So what I mean by this is if you have a block of text, which is what is going to happen if you use AI dictation, you just need to break things down into shorter, more digestible blocks. And of course, for this, the AI can help us write headings, bullet points, and so on. But on top of this, I have this workflow that splits every single sentence into its own paragraph, essentially. So just a bunch of empty space. That way I can visualize all of the sentences by themselves so that later when I'm revisiting things manually, this way I can easily see which sentences might be too long, which ones I can remove, which ones I can reorganize. It's just a much more dynamic way in which you can edit things later, as well as the benefit that it's just a lot more schemable, a lot more user friendly for the modern reader to make things a lot easier to just read and scheme through and so on. So we definitely want to do this. So that is stage number two in my editing process. Now, stage number three is about making AI write like me. This is one of the most challenging things that if you use ChatGPT, it's really hard to get it to write like you. So what I've done with my AI system is give it a bunch of things that are written in the past, just letting it know how I write and just using it to really analyze my style of writing. But more importantly, I came up with this really cool workflow that has been working out great, which is giving it a list of words that I personally use a lot. So I just have the AI analyze analyzing like a lot of my writings and coming up with this massive list of words that I use so that when the AI is doing a rewrite of everything that I gave it in the first draft, it knows which type of language I actually use. And the results of this have been amazing. So within the editing process that AI is helping us with, we inform it on how to write, like the best practices and frameworks we wanted to keep in mind. Then we ask it to break things down visually, you know, adding bullet points, headings, breaking things down into sentences, like I said. And then three, just informing it on how we write so that it can write as close as possible to our style of writing. And this process gives me a really nice next draft that I can, of course, revisit and I can keep using AI and repeating this process as much as necessary and using it for grammar correction and so on. And the main thing Thing that I really wanted to keep in mind during this whole process is that if I am the one who generates ideas, but AI is the one that can help me write a second draft a lot faster, then the final piece keeps that soul. It keeps having that human, authentic perspective that I bring to the table. AI can help me speed up the whole process of the technicalities of writing. Now, one of the things that has really blown my mind about this whole process is how customizable these all is to your needs. Again, the approach that I'm using involves code, nerdy stuff, happy to break it down. Like I said, if you do want to get into the more technical stuff, you can join my free community. But if you would like my help to help you set this up for you, all I would really need is just previous things that you've written before and your goal with writing. And with that, I can train the whole AI to write like you. So if you'd be interested in exploring that possibility, I'd love to set that up for you. I think you'd be blown away by the results that are possible. So if you would like to explore that, there's a link in the description where you can book a call with me to see if this is what you need. And I'd love to to help you. So if that sounds exciting, I'll see you there. And until then, hope you have a great day. Talk soon.
You're still here. See ya. Bye. See you later. <laughs>